Check, check, check. How's that? You got a level? Is that everything okay? All right, thanks. Introduction. Canasta is a card melding partnership game for four players, with partners sitting across from each other. Canasta uses two 54-card decks, including jokers. Twos and jokers are wild in Canasta, and suits do not matter. The object is to collect groups of at least three cards of the same rank, with seven or more cards of the same rank forming a Canasta. Let's jump right into a sample hand. Playing. After dealing 11 cards to each player, the rest of the cards become the draw pile, and the top card is flipped over to start the discard pile. Elaine plays first. Each turn starts with a draw and ends with a discard. You can either draw the top card of the deck or the top discard if you can play that card to a meld. A meld requires at least three cards, so you have no way to meld that four. Draw from the deck. The two large displays on screen show the current melds for both partnerships. They start out empty, and partners play melds to them during the game. Each partnership has an initial meld requirement that depends upon their score. With a score of zero, the requirement is 50 points. Your initial meld requirement is shown below your partnership score. To calculate the value of your melds, count fours through sevens as five, eights through kings as 10, and aces and twos as 20. Jokers are worth 50. Look at your hand. Can you meet the initial meld requirement? You have two tens and a wild two, which is a legal meld. However, the 2 is worth 20 points, and each of the 10s is worth 10, for a total of 40 points, so you are 10 points short. You can play multiple melds to meet the requirement, but you only have one possible, so you have to end your turn. Discard the 7. To pick up a discard before your partnership has made a meld, you must have two naturals matching the discard. Hedda had two more sevens and a joker, so she was able to pick up the seven and cover the meld requirement. Once a partnership has melded, they only need one matching natural to pick up the discard. Hedda's meld is known as a mixed meld because it contains at least one wild card. A meld without wild cards is called natural. A mixed meld must contain more natural cards than wild cards, and no more than three wild cards. Note that Hedda also picked up the rest of the discard pile. If you pick up the top discard, you also pick up the other cards in the discard pile after melding the top card. Picking up big discard piles is usually a very good thing in Canasta, as it gives you lots of cards to work with. You can add cards to your partnership's established melds during your turn. If you discard a card in a rank that has already been melded by your opponents, it's an easy pickup for them, since the opponent to your left can pick it up and meld it right away. That six is not useful to you, so draw from the deck. Whenever you draw a red three, it is automatically played to your partnership's display, and you draw a replacement card. Red threes are worth 100 points at the end of a hand, unless your partnership fails to make a meld, in which case they count as 100 points against you. Having all four red threes doubles their value in scoring. Unfortunately, you still don't have a meld and have to discard. Try ditching the two. When a wild card is discarded, the discard pile is frozen. This means nobody can draw from it unless they have two or more cards of the same rank as the top discard. This makes it harder for Elaine and Hedda to pick up the discard pile, since they've already melded. We haven't melded yet, so it doesn't hurt us at all. We had to have two matching cards to pick up the top discard anyway. Hedda played a seventh card to the meld, making it a canasta. Canastas are worth big points at the end of the hand, so making them is a top priority. There's a reason canasta is the name of the game. Natural canastas are worth more than mixed canastas, but both are great. Just as wild cards are safe discards, so are black threes. They can never be drawn from the top of the discard pile, 
They can only be melded when going out, and they can't be melded with wild cards. So they are most useful as discards. Okay, partner, we're on the board with a meld. The pile is still frozen, but you have two fives in hand, so you can pick up the discarded five. Now you have to make a meld with it right away. You can right-click non-wild cards in your hand to send them to the meld display automatically, or drag the card over the appropriate slot of the meld display. Meld your fives. Now you can make any new melds you might have, or add to our existing melds before you discard. Play continues until someone goes out. To go out, you must meld all but a maximum of one card from your hand, and your partnership must have at least one canasta. When you can go out, you are allowed to ask your partner if it is okay to do so, since they might have lots of points to play and want to wait. If you ask and your partner says yes, you must go out by melding all of your cards. Or all but one card and discarding it. That's how to play canasta. You can play out the rest of this hand, or click on scoring to jump ahead to the next section. Scoring. In addition to 300 points for mixed canastas and 500 points for natural canastas, all cards and melds are scored at their point value. Cards left in hand count against a partnership score, and going out is worth 100 points. Red threes are worth 100 each, or 200 each if you have all four. If your partnership didn't make a meld, the red three points are subtracted from your score instead. A game of canasta ends when a partnership reaches 5,000 points. That's pretty much all there is to it. Play a few games and then review the Hoyle Card Games Manual and in-game help for additional strategy tips. Have fun! Check, check, check. How's that? You got a level? Is that everything okay? All right, thanks. I'm going to try not to let that rattle me.
Getting angry. Didn't think I could play like that, did you? Positive results, Roswell. Just like when I'm at a rummage sale, I know how to make something out of people's junk.
Just like when I'm at a rummage sale, I know how to make something out of people's junk. Good for you, Chloe. Canasta for the dinosaur. If I could land my ship as well as I play, I wouldn't be here. You just got the paper delivered, and it was all good news. Roswell plus canasta equals massive points. Watch me turn this trash into mega points. I feel a lot safer with you around, Roswell. I'll never insult you again. Well, maybe once or twice for old time's sake.
You certainly are more developed than those earlier human versions. Never underestimate the power of the fossil. Well, Chloe, isn't that nice? You're not scaring me yet. Ladies and gentlemen, with that canasta, my game has officially achieved warp drive. Chloe, I believe you got just what you wanted, am I right? What nice discards! And they're all mine! I've had 65 million years of dormancy to work on my strategy. I'm out, but I'm not down.
What a play! These may appear to be ordinary discards, but I'm going to turn them into extraordinary points. I'll gobble up these discards like so many pterodactyl eggs. I'm pleased. Out of this world, Roswell. I'll scoop up these discards faster than a duck bill. Chloe, I'm intrigued. How did you pull that off? Seven little treats. Taste is kind of flat, though. Canasta. Roswell is rolling in points now. Check out what I got. A little something called Canasta.
Excellent. Canasta. Roswell is rolling in points now. I'll scoop up these discards faster than a duck bill. Ah, seven of a kind. Just like my latest dinner. Looks like a canasta to me. The Homo sapien shows promise. It's my nature, you know. Hey, you know what they say, big tail, big brain. Alrighty then. I am T-Rex and I am here to play. Ah, seven of a kind. Just like my latest dinner. You played them all. Let's tally up the scores. Your game just hit a new pink, Chloe.
I'll gobble up these discards like so many pterodactyl eggs. You won't find any skeletons in my closet. Well, maybe a midget horse or two. I'm certainly better at figuring this out than your average paleontologist. That surely pleases you. That play serves me quite well. Seven little treats. Taste is kind of flat, though. I'm used to dealing with discards. I am a janitor, after all. What nice discards! And they're all mine! It does not matter the size of our victory, only that we were victorious. Thank you.